Hey everybody, it's Travis with Gorsuch Performance Solutions again. Today I want to demonstrate our new caliper rebuild station as well as show you the steps to rebuild or freshen a caliper, replace the seals and inspect the pistons. So one of the first things we would do is get your station locked down into place. Um, this one here I kind of have mounted at an angle so you can see everything. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your caliper, take your pads out and uh, we're going to remove the inlet fitting so you can spray air into that. Um, keep the bleed screw into the caliper itself. We'll set it onto the fixture and position it here. Um, we'll want to have a rag ready to wipe things up. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll put a spacer in and we will take the air and push it. Blow the pistons out. We'll take our rag and grab the pistons, take them out and wipe them down. Inspect them for any debris, marks, nicks. We want that to be a nice, smooth, clean surface. And we will remove all the pistons. The assembly fluid makes them a little bit slippery. The rag helps to hang on to them a little bit, but if you just rock them back and forth, they will pop out. And that one there comes out pretty easy. As you can see, these pistons actually have what we call a heat shield or a, a stainless steel nose on it. That prevents the heat from getting from the brake pads on into the brake fluid. Here would be an example of a standard piston, which you can see looks more like a, a traditional piston that you would um, are probably familiar with. Um, the difference is a, a little bit in price, but again, this one here, if you're, ex if you're exposing the system to high temperatures, this heat shielded uh, stainless steel nose will really help. Um, get this last piston to slide out of there, lock it just a little bit, and like so, it came right out. Um, you you want to be real careful to not scratch this surface here, but uh, um, sometimes you can put something in here, and again, I sometimes I pull the extra seals out and put the pistons back in, use a little clamp to kind of hold them in place, except for the, the piston that's stuck, and then force it with air to get that one to pop. Um, it's, once you get the seals, you'll see the O-rings down in here. It's kind of a square seal. You can see that pop down in there and we want to pop that up. And I just kind of fold it around and pull it out. Again, when you expose this to a lot of temperature, the outside of the seal will get really baked. The inside might still be a little bit uh, um, fresh looking. A lot of times too, it'll start to build a lip on this inside edge just from, from general use because the seal is what's actually, as your, as your piston goes through it, the seal is what's pulling the piston back to minimize that drag. The design of the seal, the, the hardness of the material, and then the shape of that O-ring gland. Once we do that, we'll go through and make sure everything's clean. The other area you really wanna inspect is in this bore. On the outside, right close to this lip, the dirt will get in there. Um, and as you know, we were in a very dirty, um, harsh environment and that dirt and debris gets in there. And then again, it m minimizes how much that seal can move and flex. And so you want to make sure that that's real clean. Use a, a soft bristle, like a toothbrush or some kind of a brush and some kind of a gentle solvent or, or soap to clean that real well. Blow air through the system to get it all cleaned out. Then is what you will do is with your pistons when you're ready to go back in, take our assembly fluid. Put some of the uh, assembly fluid onto the seal. Spread that around to get everything all covered. And then we just slide it down into the groove. Get it to pop in there. And boom, it goes in. Again, I'll take just a little more fluid. Just make sure that that's coated. And again, Remember, you have the large bore and the small bores in the, in the caliper, so you'll want to grab your, let's see this, and here's the small bore. We will put just a little assembly fluid on this piston. I put it on the end, and I take my finger, and I usually smear it around, but uh, you'll find your own system that works. Take that, and then I just gently rock it until it finds its uh, way in there and gently goes in. Very simple. It's pretty fast. Um, truthfully, the, the hardest part of the whole thing is just keeping everything clean and, and you know, spending a little bit of time to get all of that uh, debris out of the little bores and the edges of the, of the part. Again, the big piston, come down, 
Again, I just kind of rock it around until it finds its spot and it just gently slides right in. You don't want to force it. You don't want anything to bind or you don't want any nicks um, on the edge of the, uh, of the piston. Make sure it's smooth. That way you can seal up nice and tight and you don't get any leaks. Um, this one here goes right in. So it's very important to rebuild your calipers periodically to keep them in optimum working condition. As, as you know, the dirt and debris and in the fit around this little piston into the, um, into the housing of the caliper, it's very easy for the dirt and stuff to get in there. And then it just minimizes that, that pullback. All of a sudden now your, your brakes are dragging um, and you get more heat and it's just a vicious cycle. You don't have the modulation and control in the pedal that you really want when you're running on especially a really slippery hard surface. So that is the uh, system for cleaning them, wipe them up good. Um, that's the way that we uh, go through and replace the seals. Those are all available online with uh, at GorsuchPerformanceSolutions.com um, or if you have questions, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call at 951-310-0561. Thank you.